goes again. Elijah Bryant, dazzling dribble. Oh. Oh. No, they said go to the. They said. They said go to the man. I want to go with you. I gotta do the Corona test. What's your name? Elijah. Bryant. Eh? Bryant. Yep. What's your name? Yeah. yeah. Good? Thank you. I said go to the guy, Ty. <laughs> oh, whoa, ho, ho, ho. told you. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch Renew here, doing basketball, everything on and off the court. Maybe some technology videos one day, but I don't want this channel to be something where it's just happy all the time. I want you guys to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. So right now, we're dealing with the ugly. My jumper will not go in right now. But the problem is, is I feel like with athletes, you start to second guess yourself, you start to try to change rhythm, try to change routines. For me, what I've learned in the past when I've gone through this is just keep trusting the process. I know it sounds so, um, a Dane and everyone says it but continue to trust your process whatever that is shooting extra after all that stuff and eventually the lid will come off the rim so let's talk about this And yes, I did all that and came back and got the camera. So when I was asking myself, should I make this video? And I came to the conclusion that obviously, yes, I should make it. It's because I know there's someone out there who goes through this and let's just have a conversation about this. It's natural as an athlete, as a competitor to feel down after you don't play to the ability you feel like you can, but I feel like you can't let that deter you from continue to create great habits, continuing to believe in yourself and having that can-do mindset. You'll find yourself sometimes wanting to blame others, focus on things that aren't relevant, and all of that is just noise and wasted energy. Yeah. And also being that I know it's like mental health month or mental health week, taking care of your mental health is very important in sports and jobs and competitive atmospheres. You can sometimes be down on yourself. One thing I like to do every single night, it's hard, it's definitely hard after a game that I feel like I could have played better, is rewire every negative thought that I had that day or negative experience. So let's say I missed a shot, rewire that in my head like I made it. Let's say. I tried to blame someone else, rewire that and focus on solutions. That's one tip to, to kind of mastering your mind in a sense. Good guy. Great guy.
Come on, Croatian crazy. Nice crystal clean white bathroom. Jane would love that. But back to what I was saying about, you know, having those thoughts after a game. I think the biggest thing is focusing on what you can control and what you can continue to put one penny in each day. If you can get extra shots, if you can get extra stretching, if you can get extra sleep just focus on those little increments but we're here in greece we play olympiacos tomorrow it's time for us to get a breakthrough win get some stops on defense it's time for me to hit some shots i'm being quite honest so i don't have cellular service wherever i go i just connect to the wi-fi And hopefully, it usually works. So I connect the Wi-Fi at the airport, connect the Wi-Fi at the hotel, and I only have an Israeli SIM card and an American SIM card. See ya, Joe. So I just finished dinner and it was great. One thing I wanted to tell you guys, anyone who knows on a basketball team, no matter what team you're on, you'll always form a brotherhood. And the memories you make with that team, whether wins or losses, the experiences you have, they literally last a lifetime. Everything, you chop it up, all the brotherhood, all the experiences, like, if you've been one of my teammates on one of my teams, college, high school, middle school, professional, I appreciate you guys. Like, when you're overseas and you don't really have like, your family family, like your boys are your boys. Like you spend more time with them than you do. Your family who's even over there with you. That's one thing I learned, like, obviously I haven't played in the NBA yet. But what I've heard is very clicky. So I really do appreciate, you know, team dinners, team meals, not roommates. I'm not cool with that, I'm a grown man. But you get the point, I like my teammates. I definitely forgot my toothbrush. Uh, may I get a toothbrush and toothpaste? Thank you so much. Thank you. Is it weird that I'm in Greece and we're staying at a Marriott and usually in a Marriott Center or the Marriott Center is where I play in college. But because of Corona, there's no Book of Mormons. This is my personal Book of Mormon, but if you ever go to a Marriott hotel, not during a pandemic. Look in the bedside table, you will see a Holy Bible and a Book of Mormon. Why? Because the owner of Marriott is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Link in bio. Yes, I did a face mask. Revan. Face mask, mask. Deep cleansing facial, removes dirt from pores, never tested on animals. You know, eat love the animals, eat love the kids. Whoa. Excuse me, being of ethnicity, I get ingrown hairs. But with my clippers, I forgot my oil. So I improvised the other day. I put coconut oil on my clippers, and it seemed to help when I shaved. I didn't get that many. In your ears. So, hack. We meet again. The Corona remote.
there. Okay, so on the flip side, alright. Breakfast, shoot around, nap time, I got great sleep. Remember, continue to have positive thoughts, continue to build great habits. All right, so the point of this video was to encourage, inspire, motivate athletes, people who go through, it's time for a haircut, people who go through bad games or bad performances, and I want to end with this. We all deal with setbacks, but in the long run, the quality of our lives often depends on the quality of our habits. So let's create great habits.